GMA on the lookout, and this morning we're talking about home security systems. Millions of us use them to keep our families safe, but it may be possible to breach that system. And ABC's Paula Ferris is here with the story. Hey, good morning, Paula. Good morning, Lara. A little disconcerting. It is your sense of security and peace of mind, your home alarm system. But we are finding alarming vulnerabilities in some of the biggest security companies, and it doesn't take long. In fact, a matter of seconds. <laughs> Alarm system designed to protect you and make you feel safe. An estimated 38 million Americans turn to these systems to help secure their homes and businesses. But are you really as safe as you think you are? I just hit go. Logan Lamb, a cyber researcher, says he's found some alarming weaknesses in some home security systems. All it takes is the right tools and know-how. With every system that I've tested, which has been from four different manufacturers, they've all been vulnerable in the exact same way. Are they pop-up books? Tennesseans Ryan and Bonnie allowing GMA on the lookout so to visit their the house. Today? And for Logan to test their home alarm so, system provided by ADT, one of the leading home security companies. You want peace of mind. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to go to sleep knowing that you're safe. Mm, absolutely. We're probably 100 feet from the house right now. To so disrupt the system, far. Logan uses far. a laptop equipped with special time? software, an antenna, and this device that detects radio frequencies from wireless alarm systems. Logan showing us three ways he's able to interfere with their system. First, he sends a false alarm, causing the homeowner to receive a signal on their keypad that a closed door is open. It'll keep doing that until I hit stop. Homeowners may think they need to open and close the door to reset the system, potentially leaving them open to an intruder. That was way too easy. His second demonstration is even more startling, where he completely disarms their system. All I'll have to do here is hit play. It'll create some interference with this door sensor. You said it's disarmed, right? It should be. I don't hear an alarm. For Logan's final demonstration, he's detecting when the alarm system is activated and other movement, like when a door opens or closes. So you're basically learning the family's patterns. Exactly. And learning the best time to strike. Yes. If you're a perpetrator. All right. So After restoring right the homeowner system, is, Logan uh, says the, the best way to stay safe. Uh, be aware that this is possible. They should call their provider and ask them, hey, is my system vulnerable to these sorts of attacks? ADT tells us ADT is committed to providing our customers with continual security and technology advancements, and it works regularly with our suppliers to enhance the security of our products. They invited anyone with concerns to contact them. And while there is no record of these types of attacks, Logan still warns. It may not be a huge concern today, but it will be in the future. For Ryan and Bonnie, the experiment was eye-opening. You had no idea. It was I had no easy. idea. Uh -uh. Blew your mind. Yeah. For Good Morning America, Paula Ferris, ABC News, Tennessee. So what can you do? Call your security company and ask them what their solution is. Pressure them in staying ahead of this. Our expert told us that because of modern technology, this is just going to get easier and easier for these hackers. The miracle of modern technology is you got from Tennessee to here in one second. <laughs> <laughs> we perform miracles on a daily basis here at Good Morning America. It's great advice, though, <laughs> I, I, and really a ma mad masterful. But, um, but really good advice. Pressure them. Stay on them. I, I think that's really important. Thanks, yeah. Paula. Yep.